Um, so for this particular uh, ordering guide, again, this is the V42 series cast iron valve, and it denotes on the first box V42, which points you into a, the right direction as far as this is a cast iron valve. The, uh, the V42 will be the first three digits. The next digit is your pipe size that ranges from either three quarter inch to one inch to inch and a quarter, all the way up to a six inch valve. And on this ordering guide, uh, the, there's a letter that denotes the particular size. For example, um, a three quarter inch, and in parentheses they have 421. The 421 that you'll see is, is actually a number that is casted on the actual valve itself. It could be casted on the actual cap of the valve or actually on one of the sides of the actual body of the valve. So if somebody calls up and says I have a 421 valve, that kind of points me into a good direction as to uh, you know, what their application might be uh, calling for. The next, uh, the next uh, two boxes basically denote the pipe connection and the body and cap material. Uh, typically uh, what we see is either a, a zero or a three. Um, a zero would basically be a female MPT thread. Uh, which is common for the lower size valves. Uh, a three is indicated a flanged uh, American Standard uh, flanged fitting. Um, typically you find those in the three inch, three inch, four inch, and six inch valves is where you're going to see your flange kinetic specifically to the V442 series valve. Um, so most common it's going to be a zero unless they say I have a, a, a 427 valve. Now a 427 valve uh, which is a letter J, um, just for you know, just for educational purposes. That particular valve can either come with an MPT thread or a flange thread, so a flange fitting, I should say. So when they say they have a 427 aquamatic valve, my next question is, is it flanged or threaded? Because um, obviously there's a difference in price between those two options. Um, commonly, these valves are cast iron. Uh, you can get some of these made in, in cast brass, although that's, we're starting to see that they're going away from that in the industry. So the most common is going to be a cast iron valve. Um, the, next two, um, the next two letters that are uh, pertinent to this ordering uh, number are the valve options. Um, on the V42 series, uh, there is approximately uh, nine different options that you can get. Uh, the standard is a normally open option which is denoted by the, the numbers zero zero. Um, and then uh, on this ordering guide they, the number sequence can go from you know zero zero which is a normally open valve to a zero one which would be a normally open spring assist open. Um, you can actually have a three zero which is a, just a normally closed valve uh, or a 4-0, uh, which is a normally closed valve uh, with a limit stop option. Um, so that's, that's key to figuring out you know, what the valve operation is that the customer has. It's also going to determine pricing of the valve as well. Um, the, uh, the next uh, sequence of, the, of digits in this is, is the seals, the diaphragm, and the disc material. Most common, it's a zero, which is all Buna. Sometimes you can have what they call on the ordering guide FKM, which is actually a Vita material. Um, you can also get uh, maybe a combination of Viton and Buna. Buna is basically like a rubber material, uh, or a combination maybe of an like EP, which is an ethylene propylene, uh, maybe an EP seal and disc, and a Buna diaphragm. Uh, the next sequence would be the internal parts, the most common is that you're going to see a combination of brass and stainless steel internal parts. Um, you can get all stainless steel parts, which is going to be, you know, add cost to the valve, but again, most common, it's going to be a zero, uh, which, is, which denotes brass and stainless steel. Um, then with the Aquamatic valve, uh, they have these uh, little, um, you know, what they call bosses on the side of the valve, and there's drill and tap boss options you can get. Um, a zero in this sequence of numbers indicates that there's no drill and tap that's part of the valve. Um, or, you know, you can maybe ask for a number six option, which means they're going to drill and tap bosses number one and two. Um, 
The last two options get involved with, uh, you know, when you have an aquamatic valve, uh, you can either have a solenoid option to control this valve, or there's also a float option that you can use on this valve for like brine applications. So, uh, you know, we need to find out if, if the solenoid's controlling this valve. Uh, what we need to know is if the solenoid's actually mounted directly to the side of the valve, and uh, is it using the, the, the water pressure from the valve itself uh, the solenoid is actually controlling the water pressure from the side of the valve itself to open and close. So, uh, you know, depending on, uh, you know, what number you have there, if, if a customer were to give me like a model number sequence and the particular number that they give me for this solenoid option being number one, that indicates that it's an energized to open. What that means is um, the solenoid, when it is energized with voltage, it opens up the aquamatic valve. Um, and then, of course, the, the, the last number is either the float features or the solenoid features. Uh, for example, solenoid features can either be, you know, what the voltage type is of the solenoid. Um, do you require, uh, you know, maybe a NEMA 4, 7, and 9 solenoid? Uh, with regard to the float features, that pretty much gets involved in what size, uh, you know, float rod you might need, you know, whether you need a brass or a PVC. Um, or stainless steel, or maybe you need a longer, um, you know, float rod. So that's pretty much the, the sequence of numbers. A lot of times we'll send these to the customers, like I said, so they can see what, how many different, you know, options you can get with these valves. And, uh, you know, we, we will email those in a PDF form or fax them out to you, whatever's the easiest way you can take a look at it. And uh, that's pretty much uh, what the ordering guide's all about.